Now, let's talk about bedwetting. Can you imagine your 25-year-old friend, sister or child bedwetting? It sounds quite unreal, but that was Tolu Joseph's dilemma. For 25 years, she flooded her bed with urine while in deep sleep and has tried several local remedies to correct the problem. Now 27, Tolu shares the story of how she overcame the problem. How exactly? Have a look at her story as compiled by Oyeyemi Benga Mustafa. I've always known myself as a perpetual bedwetter. I've started bedwetting ever since I was born, or let me say, ever since I, I got to know life. I had a lot of emotional breakdown, but I thank God that it wasn't my emotional breakdown didn't really get to the point of suicide but it was on the extreme i lacked concentration i wasn't concentrating on my academics i was full of fear and insecurity it was a bad experience i must confess it was a very bad experience many people thought that it was something i was doing intentionally Being the first grandchild of my grandma, she was always very unhappy, she was always very sad, seeing her first grandchild going through this, this kind of mess. So she would always listen to people, whatever they have to tell her about this disorder, she was ready to do it. Anything traditional, she would go to the market, she would buy all kinds of things. So when she comes back, she would give them to me to take whether grudgingly or happily or however I want to take it, I had to take them. I could not even drink water in their house due to the smell of rain. We took steps to address the embarrassing situation, like asking her to greet Grinding Stone every day, urinating over life coal, and greeting electricity pole. In spite of all this, Tolu did not stop. My husband tried as well, but she didn't stop. Knowledge is power. Well done, Tolu, for not giving up the fight.